I don't know a single man <clears throat> or a married man or divorced man who has ever reacted to a breakup like this. Oh, here we go. John, John, give me the money recording. Why? Why? Oh, give me the recording. Give it to me now. Oh my God! Recording. What what does she want? A recording? Yeah, she she wants the phone. You're hanging a recording right now of me. Yes, I am. I'm just letting you know I'm recording you. So this can be proven in court. That's right. <laughs> Smart man right there. No. no. You can't no. leave a pipe in the car. No. Terry. No. No. Please don't. Please don't. Please. I don't. From, from what I understand, no. the, uh, no. the story behind this uh-huh. is she cheated. Got caught. Uh-huh. He's divorcing her, moving out of the house, and this is her reaction. So this is his shit in the house, this in the is car, his shit in the car, and she's going crazy. She doesn't want him to leave. Consequences? What are those? And what you're seeing here is this is a person who's never had to deal with any consequences during their entire life. Yeah. Because at any given time, when she was tired with a, with a dude, she just moves on to the next yeah. kiyaka. And that's exactly what she did here, except this time, he's done. Consequences. Yeah. Done. I, 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 listen, I'll blame him. Yep. What do you mean to do? Listen, I can't listen all, to the I, whining anymore. Yeah, now, first of all, I mean, when it gets this bad, this is what you need to do. Yeah. Just leave the car, walk out to the street, call the cops. Mm-hmm. Cops will come, and you'll be like, hey, look, this is a bad breakup. You know, I'm getting divorced. I'm putting my shit in my car, and I'm leaving, and I, I just don't want any problems. And I, I listen. I have lots of buddies of mine who are cops. Yeah, th- this happens like to with them three to four times a week. Oh, I bet they just stand there and they they supervise. Like, hey, okay, just get your stuff. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know. So uh, he caught her. Now, uh, yeah. fast forward this one. Go to go to the last one. Where she's throwing a fit, whining. Go towards the end and see what happens. Just oh, the the one that we were just watching. Yeah. Okay. Go towards the end. Yeah, nope, right there. This is only twenty percent into it. Yeah, because this is these are kind of longer videos. This one is about seven, almost eight minutes long. And as always, you guys can see these videos in their entirety on redonkulous.com. Go to the most recent post for this yep. stream. You'll find everything there. I just want to see if any, what happens at the end. You want to go to like minute six? Yeah, of course. Okay, she's back on screen here, so let's see what's going on. And I will leave. It's still Delete. going. The video, Still going. and I will leave. I'm not doing nothing. Delete. Go get ahead, in the buddy. house now. <laughs> Delete the video, and I will leave. Delete it now. Delete it now, and I will be done. All right, stop it. I'm it. done with it. Oh my lanta! I, I, I can't hear the, the, the <laughs> pleading. Now listen. Whoa. Uh, li- uh, I can tell you, in my travels, I've heard the wailings of women over like. Slain fathers, sons, yep. and, and and husbands, and it was absolutely just terrible. Yeah, I mean, just the sound of that was it, oh my god! It just that's take, pain. That's legitimate fucking pain. Yeah, but what I'm seeing here is I'm not really hearing. I mean, yes, there's pain now, but that's only because she now has consequences. Yep. So there's a big difference between that wailing and this. This, that wailing we're just listening to makes me sick to my stomach. Mm-hmm. Well, the other one breaks my heart. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, th- this is like a young child. Yeah. You know. I said I was sorry. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> You're sorry. What does that do for me? I would say you. Uh, I know. I've seen this particular one before, and uh, yeah, this one is. Uh, now they throw her off the flight for calling somebody old. Or what, what, and that's what she says. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, like, if you are in your seat, yeah, and then they come and tell you to get off the plane and you really didn't do anything bad, mm, uh, that's a lawsuit in my book. Oh, absolutely. So, do I think that she just called somebody old and that's what got her kicked off the flight? No. No. Well, she could just, she could have been, you know, just a raging bitch. Oh, and, she spit. Uh, she's spitting now. That that did it right there. Real nice one here, yeah. 
This is what, uh, these are the kind of, of uh, ribs that men are going into debt for. 22% of millennials. Yeah, what she looks millennial to me. What did I do? Yo, someone make this viral. You want me this viral, make it viral. What did the did I do? Yeah, that's ladylike like right there. I someone old because they were? All right, I'll get my bag. See you later. Booty shot. My mom's gonna be so proud of me tomorrow. I don't. I didn't do anything. I sat down in my seat. Uh huh. And I yeah, asked that's to why go they go somewhere else where they were being. But I get kicked off. Okay. All right. Tape uh -huh. this. Ta who's taping this? Who's taping this? Oh y'all. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, uh, you could just smell the maturity from here. Yeah, I mean, listen, if I was getting thrown off for some stupid shit, I, I would be very upset, but I would handle it different. No, I mean, what you do is be like, okay, if this is how things are going to be, fine. You get on your phone immediately, you call an attorney, you let them know exactly what's going on, you get the names of everybody on the plane that was responsible for kicking your ass off, uh -huh. and let the games begin. Yep, yep. Because uh, handle you know. it like an adult. Well, the thing is, is you could do a lot of stuff. Um, <clears throat> like for instance, the whole letter writing thing. Yeah. Like, and listen, it's not. We're not talking emails. You literally sit down, type up a real letter, print yep. it, sign your fucking name to it, and put it in the mail. Yeah. And I, I've, like for instance, we we're doing a. Um, I was coming back from Wisconsin, going through Chicago, whatever. We had a technical difficulty with my flight, and they're like, well, we can't get you out of here for three days. Yeah. And I'm like, three days? Okay, we'll see about that. Mm -hmm. Well, when you write up a letter uh -huh. and somebody can hold a tangible thing in their hand, it carries far more weight than a phone call or an email ever will. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I was, uh, they had me laid over for two days. I finally, they got me out early because I was bitching up a storm mm -hmm. on the phone. I wrote the fucking letters threatening legal action, and uh, I also threatened to have uh, the military remove them from the you know the flight list oh. of companies that you know soldiers fly around on because of that. There you go. Yeah, and I I got like two or th was it three flights out of the deal for there you free. Go. They're like, oh, oh, shit, Tubbs, we're so sorry. Here's three tickets, uh, to, you know, to you know, there and back tickets. Yeah. To, for whatever, anywhere in the continental United States. Boom. So. A squeaky wheel gets the grease, man. Well, I mean, yeah, like a lot of times you got to just write the actual fiscal letter. And, because once, once they're actually like, holy fuck, this dude took time to write a letter. Put it in an envelope, mailed it to my ass, signed it. Oh, and look, there's copies to letters to his congressman, his senator, mm -hmm. his governor. Holy shit. That is administrative violence. Yeah. Well, that's the beginnings of it. Just the beginning. It's yeah. a, it's a tit dip in your toe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It just, I, I see stuff like this. And I, I think Riggs in the chat summed it up very well. She's still mentally a child. Yes. More proof that these modern ribs don't mature past the age they realize they can shake things and get free stuff. 14 to 16. Here we go. Oh. Shit. You can almost hear her you coming. Know, I do all my shit to have a Saturday to hang out with my husband. And yet all of your shit is all This is a classic all viral video. Get them rotated. I would like to go on the all right, lake. Stop Why it right here. Go on the lake. All right, so hear what she said. I want to go on the lake. I, I do all my stuff so I can have the Saturday off. Yeah. This guy probably works all week. Mm -hmm. Can't take his vehicle to get maintenance done. Yeah, but now he has to get it done, and now she's upset because she can't the spend lake. the entire day by the lake. Wait. This I mean, there's, there's no reason not to be on the lake right now. How can we afford it? Afford it? James, that's like petty money that I'm spending on that boat compared to what I'm paying. why do you keep going off and telling James, me you don't have money? James, because I'm trying to sit down and go over the budget with you. No, no, no. The it. budget is you dictating. You need to stop and get me some 
<laughs> they don't have to do anything. Dic Please, dictating when you should be dictating. Stop it right there. <laughs> Did you ever see said cigarettes? Yep. That's t that's a minimum ten bucks a day if it's one pack. Uh, yeah. You're smoking two packs. That's in some states. That's twenty five dollars. Mm, yep. What's twenty five times ten? Mm. Let's see, two fifty. That's almost a thousand dollars a month. You're, you're you're smoking. Yep. And now and now he's saying they don't have money, and we have to budget. Yep. Well, you give up smoking. Maybe you have more money to go on the boat, you dumb bitch. Maybe. Now let's see what this woman actually looks like. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, here we go. She's got here the waterworks going. Waterworks here. here. I, I never give my wife. I just want one day where I can. I one you. day. I one day where I can go on I just, the boat. Wow. There's one no day. fucking way I could one deal with this. Just do it for me. This would be a divorce. I had shit to do there. It's all involved, dude. No, it doesn't! Take me out on the leg! Oh my god! god. Shut ah. up! Ah. Wow! Ah. Please just take me out on the leg! Wow. He's filming her the whole time. Yeah, yeah. It's not my fault. Because guess what? This lives for the internet's forever, <laughs> and this woman is going to be embarrassed over that shit forever. Oh, man. Oh, it's so great. Well, my thing is this I've had in my life two occasions where the ladies I was with were getting a little indignant, mm -hmm. and that was the last time I saw them. Yeah. That was well, it. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. you can't you can't give into that. Th no. That's why, it, like I call, you know, Antifa the daycare generation, because it's, they uh, act like the kid in the daycare. You know, yep. you got twenty five kids and one adult, and the only way they can get attention is to scream and cry and break shit, throw tantrums all day long. They learn that behavior and then they carry it with them into adulthood because. For the rest of their time in school up until, you know, they finally hit the age of 18, it's, oh, everybody's special and everybody gets a trophy. Yeah, yeah. everyone gets a trophy. We, you, you can't say anything so it'll hurt people's feelings. Yeah. And now grades are racist and yeah. math is racist and all this other stuff. There's Everything no consequences for anyone unless you're a white male. But. That's not bad. What happens when women get, uh, uh, what did my friend call it? Cock drunk. And then you try to take their favorite drink away. Oh, here we go. I don't want to do this. I don't want to have you, please. Please. Oh, my We're God. I don't care. We're going to the end of the year. Post it. Post it. Ooh. Post it. I'm not even recording you. Post it. Post it. <laughs> well, he's a liar, yeah. to be fair. I don't care. I don't care. All right. No. All right. See all the tattoos? Uh, yeah. What I tell you about temporary? Leopard never changes its spots, right? I need you! Take me back! Oh my god. Wow. Alright, he fucked up and he gave her the 21 day. Yeah. Yeah, Reaper, is this what happens every time you break it off with a chick? It's 21 dicks? <laughs> she got the 21 dick. And she and she's going nuts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I bet she went nuts on the 21 dick. That must be one hell of a deplorable dick that guy's like pulling around. <laughs> dick needs to come with a Surgeon General's warning. Fuck yeah, dude. You might want to have that tattooed on the side for the next woman to look at. You're like, hey, look, yeah. uh, this thing touches you and uh, you're going to have yep. problems. <laughs> and I bet he treated her like shit. She loved every minute of it, and the next, the first nice guy that comes along is going to get the brunt of all that pent up frustration. The alpha widow. Because that's what happens. Yeah, the alpha widow mentality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like these guys, you know, they don't get any poon in their 20s. They get to be in their 30s. Suddenly, chicks like this start coming around, and they're like, oh, it's finally my turn. No, 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 no. You're going to be paying full retail for everyone else's horseradish encrusted leftovers. Yep. You are. <laughs> Yeah, they want they want the Lamborghini prices. Yep. For the beat up uh, Volkswagen Cabaret. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, 
Go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.